Akanshi, give us your introduction. Uh, my name is Akanshi Bhattacharya, as you have all known. I was born and brought up in Guwahati, Assam. I did my schooling from Little Flower School, Hatikau, then Army Public School, Narangi. Then I went to pursue my graduation in uh, political science from Kirimal College, Delhi University. I like reading about spiritualism. I sometimes paint and I also love cooking. Also love cooking. So when did you finish your graduation? I finished in 2016. 2016 and uh, 16 to 22 was uh, six years of gap. What have you done? So, sir, I was preparing for civil services. And, uh, so civil services in the sense UPSC also. So you have given how many times? How many <coughs> times you have attempted? Uh, five attempts. You exhausted your attempts. I have one more. So what was this, what was your achievement in in five attempts? How far you have gone? UPC. Mm -hmm. I couldn't clear prelims unfortunately. Five attempts. What happened? So sometimes it was just a difference of five or six months. Sometimes it was a little more. But I, I think it's just unfortunate I couldn't clear it. I I wish you best of luck for this. APSC, but let's assume in a hypothetical situation. Suppose another five attempts and you have not been able to clear APSC also. Okay, and you have exhausted all your APSC attempts. What will you do in your life? So I will uh, pursue uh, higher education. After let's gap say 10 years, years or 50, 12 years most probably. Yeah. 10 to 12 years of gap. You will do higher education. Why not earlier? Your graduation in political science, and you are from Kerorimal College. So I was passionate about um, getting into civil services, and at that time my friends were also there, and we all were preparing together. And some of them succeeded, and some of them are still trying. So that became an inspiration, and also I somehow grew up with this feeling like nothing is impossible. And so I was like, let me try my best. And I believe so I will be able to succeed because I have come this far this time. And how many times a PSC you have attempted? The first time. Achha, uh, I will tell you one thing. The impression you are giving me is that, you know, since you have already exhausted um, high numbers of APSC attempt, since you have no other way also, so you are coming to APSC, but you do not have a highest regard for state public service, isn't it? No sir, I would beg to differ. So uh, the main reason for choosing APC this time is because the syllabus is same with UPC. Earlier it was too optional and it was difficult for me. Uh, I chose political science as my optional also because it was my graduation subject. And secondly, the intent was to become a part of the civil services. And with the advantage of APC, I would say is because it is my home state, I would be having the privilege of staying with my family. And even though I'd be posted in different districts, the distance would be smaller. And also, I would know the people really well and I could address the problems better. But uh, I wouldn't lie, UPSC is definitely something everyone looks up, uh, up to. But my intent is to be a part of the civil services. So I wouldn't mind. I'd be equally happy serving people of my state. definitely <laughs> So, Ekohoron Namdhormo, New Vishnavat Movement, Ekohoron Namdhormo, Kuntu Principle, Bortoman Homer Logot, Bohut Juri, Bohut Mane Kap has a Jitami implement for Sir, I believe Juntu Hohan Hilota, patience and tolerance, and Sob Dhormore Juntu at the same respect, Homan Diajai, Jiman Hinilekam Hoy Janu, sir, hit William Habo. Ajikali both common intolerance is a man with black potoke opinionated Ahijai. So, Chikunuthana religious by religious teachings, the eight way koi jami, Sobaki respect curva like a subdharmoke common respect curva like a subore tolerance. Thank you. Like to me was as Ajikali manue intolerant or say Kihorkane in Uka Hogliava intolerance to biases. The ketamine factors as well. Firstly, I believe uh, information would easily available her basically social media journal, uh, Instagram ko, Facebook ko, WhatsApp ko, but okay, viral information hoy jai. Aru manu bila ko human patients commissable bhabi so agote thorak information to ahu the time lagye ba cover through diya hai human verified hu bolle time thake. Ajikali chikunata event 
লোক সোশ্যাল মিডিয়াত ভাইরেল হয়ে যায় আর এটা এনোনিমাস প্ল্যাটফর্ম হয় যত মানে নিজের পার্সোনাল আইডিয়া আইডেন্টিটি রিভিল নকরাকে কমেন্টস পোস্ট করবেন বা অপিনিয়ন দিব সেটার কারণে কোনো ভয় না থাকে যে কনসিকুয়েন্স থাকব পে বা না থাকে তো এই দুটা ক্ষেত্র মানুষে পটকে জি আহে ভাবি নিচিন্তি তেকে কে দিয়া হয় আর পটকে মানে ভাব সেটাই ইস দি এনি রেগুলেটরি বডি টু কাপ দ্য ম্যানেজ অফ সোশ্যাল মিডিয়া ইয়েস স্যার এটা বহু আইটি লজ এন্ড রেগুলেশন ইমপ্লিমেন্ট করেছে সেন্ট্রাল স্টেট গভর্নমেন্ট ইউর সাইবার সিকিউরিটি লজও আছে তো এটা লাই লাই ইমপ্লিমেন্টেশন হয়েছে এস ফার এস আই নো কিছু বডিজ অলরেডি আছে কিন্তু আইটি সেল অফ অল দ্য গভর্নমেন্ট আই বিলিভ পার্টিকুলারলি আই ডোট রিমেম্বার বডি রাইট ওকে ক্যান ইউ নেম টু ছাত্রাজ অফ মাজুলি দুখন সত্র নাম কব পড়া কমলাবারী সত্র আর আউনিয়াটি সত্র আউনিয়াটি সত্র আচ্ছা মাওমরিয়া বিদ্রোহর সত্র একটা মানে কানেকশন আছে মাওমরিয়া বিদ্রোহ কিয় হয়েছিল মাওমরিয়া বিদ্রোহ যান স্যার এজন সত্রাধিকারক ডিসরেসপেক্ট করা হয়েছিল এটা মানে একদম মনত করবো নাই কোনজন আসে তো সেই ডিসরেসপেক্টর কারণে যখন মহামরিয়া সত্রের মানুষবিল আসে সেই বস্তুটা পার্সোনালি লো পেলে এটা মিস আন্ডারস্টেন্ডিং হয়ে পেলে বা এটা কনফ্লিক্ট হয়েছিল সরি নট ইবল টু রিকল ফাইট ফর ইকুয়ালিটি or not yes so if we see um, in certain levels it's definitely a fight for equality if we look about uh, the situation of the society prevailing in those times the caste system was prevalent and there was a social hierarchy and equality was not as egalitarian as it is right now acha you, you what is your you know, distant exposure of uh, district in assam ekdom duroni bortia kon thai loi goi paisa moi tejpur maximum চলো তুমি তিনচুকিয়া বলে কোথা যে তিনচুকিয়া ধরেছো একচুয়ালি শদিয়া হয় হ্যাঁ ঠিক আছে তিনচুকিয়ারপা তুমি ট্রেন ট্রেন জার্নি করবো তিনচুকিয়ার পর ট্রেনত উঠি তুমি গুহীলে আহিলা তোলে তুমি কোন কেখন ডিস্ট্রিক্ট সেই রাস্তাটোরে আহতে পাবা ক্রনোলজিক্যাল অর্ডার ন্যাশনেল রিজার্ভ ফরেস্ট রিজার্ভ কিমান কেখন আছে মানে জানা এক্সাক্টলি নাম্বার তো না জানো বাট কাজিরঙা পড়ে মানাস পড়ে আর লেটেস্ট ফরেস্ট রিজার্ভ কোন কোন সিকিউরিটি দেওয়া হয়েছে ডু হ্যাভ এনি আইডিয়া দেহিং পাটকাই আর রায়মনা রায়মনা কোন কোন ডিস্ট্রিক্ট বিলং করে রায়মনা কার্বি আংলং হব পড়ে হয় কোকরা জানো কোকরা আচ্ছা তুমি পাবলিক সেক্টর ইউনিটস আছে আমার মানে প্রেজেন্ট স্টেটাস তো কি পাবলিক সেক্টর ইউনিটসগুলো Somewhat like overall they are performing better since last years but they can definitely do better but I believe there is a uh, lack of funding or infrastructure deployed. No government has a good fund. They are having funds but in spite of having funds they are not showing their efficiency or profit. They are incurring huge losses every year. Um, so a part of it would be like the Im- implementation process. and there is definitely some amount of corruption in the process uh, where government uh, implementation of government projects or schemes might uh, get delayed and also there is like so the, i believe there is a lack of awareness for different uh, services the government is providing because uh, now i I, th- i believe the government is working on those and overall uh, they have performed well but i do believe there is always scope for betterment covid 19 
after COVID, do you think that there are some changes taking place in our economy? Yes, sir. In Indian context, what kind of changes? Uh, sir, I believe uh, we have now become more self-dependent uh, with Atma Nirbhar Bharat. We are trying to become uh, self-reliant uh, on most factors. Uh, earlier we had more of exports. Oh, sorry, uh, I, earlier we had more of imports, now we are trying to b build up an export-centric economy and also that is giving a boost to domestic sector, startups and um, uh, other uh, uh, domestic uh, economies like cottage industries and all are given a priority right now. And yeah, GDP no doubt has taken a plunge. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers but I believe uh, all the economies of the world except for China was impacted negatively. But uh, our manufacturing was taking a big hit. But I do believe with different schemes that is coming up right now, then uh, our government is coming back on track. And we are still uh, recognized as the fastest, one of the fastest growing economies now also. So I do believe our economy is on track. Hmm. Achha, can you tell me the first state uh, which had ratified GST? Uh, it was Assam. I might be wrong, ma'am. I just remember it. It should be a sum. But confident when you're answering. It, it has been some time. So. Okay. You come from political science background. So can you like uh, tell me a little about the Geneva Conventions? Um, Geneva Convention, ma'am. Uh, as far as I remember, it is a convention during times of war, uh, where civilians and other people who are not involved directly in military activities should be left unharmed and should not be targeted. It also has uh, important cultural monuments and uh, uh, places of national importance should not be targeted by uh, other military uh, uh, parties or enemies. That's all I can remember right now. Okay. Does the Geneva Convention uh, has any connection with uh, Manipur? Okay. Mm. Have you heard of the term information overflow? Yes, ma'am. Why? What it is? Um, information overflow, as far as uh, my understanding is, uh, the when we are overloaded with information from different sources and the actual truth gets uh, hidden in that, and uh, it can be used for manipulation as well as for personal gains as well as to uh, pro uh, promulgate a public opinion based on some uh, manipulated facts or personal um, agendas, I believe, and it is uh, aided by easily available information nowadays, and is uh, also aided by the availability of technology. And in the age of the internet, as we say, everything has become more accessible, and that gives us information loaded, which also uh, brings us uh, having diverse or very uh, polarized opinions about certain events. Do you think there should be a regulatory body to check the flow of uh, information? Is there any regulatory body? Uh, as um, uh, as far as I believe, uh, with the case of Facebook and Google that is going on in US and in the context of India, uh, there is a problem with data, and that's why they can uh, uh, I'm sorry, they can uh, manipulate public opinion. And because of that, the governments of various countries are coming up with regulatory bodies and information laws. We do have certain laws and cells to uh, check on this information overload, but unfortunately. Uh, we don't have the infrastructure to control uh, the information outlet. Uh, if we do impose some restrictions, it can be a violation of uh, fundamental rights or right to information can be on that. But uh, I do believe we need a check, check and uh, balance in having a balanced uh, control of information as some information are really important, but we cannot uh, un understand which information might trigger something or which information is really beneficial for. Society. But what if in the name of uh, providing information, some bodies or some people circulate fake news? So how do we discriminate? That is, uh, uh, I, I believe it is to our understanding to take a mature decision, but it, it has been occurring when, uh, with the I, uh, use of fake news is going on. But I do believe like police and other uh, vigilant uh, institutions of the state and uh, country are taking in, into account all this fake news just like how WhatsApp has come up with uh, forwarding information limited to only five people and so forth. Such measures are there but I do believe we can definitely work on some more to bring this in. Okay, my last question. Uh, recently America is going with the crisis in formula milk. What is the reason? Do you have any idea? I'm not 